All right, Gut Plus Science listeners, I'm back with some Monday Fire, and I'm going to reference a book that I read last year that was just a game changer. I think I brought it up on an episode or two in the past, and it's called Do Better Work, and the author is Max Yoder. You know, there are some very simple takeaways that are so profound in this book that directly align to Monday Fire. Monday Fire is all about helping people find that fire when they're starting their work week. So many people dread, you know, the begin of that because they live their lives fulfilled and fully when they're not working. And I'm, I've always wondered why, like, why not bridge that and, and understand your strengths and your superpowers and your, you know, what brings you joy and fulfillment and do those things as part of the work you do. So the tagline in this, in this book is when we do better work, we live better lives. And wow, is that so true? So I've said so many times when we are fulfilled at work, we show up as a better parent, as a better spouse. We show up and we have a lot more energy to do things that further our communities and make impact on on other people's lives. I couldn't agree with that more. And then just a couple of key takeaways that I absolutely love that hopefully will just inspire you in conversations or in your actions this week to to try them. And if you haven't grabbed this book, again, it's called Do Better Work uh, by Max Yoder. And here's the, the takeaways that I love. Number one, share before you're ready. So things don't have to be perfect with a thought that you have or a new way of doing something, innovation. So many times I think people struggle with innovation because they want it to be well-baked and perfect and uh, you know iterated on 10 times before they share it. And just throwing it out there and having your team members give feedback on that and just being vulnerable and like, here's where I'm at right now with this idea or this thought and and sharing before you're ready. So think about what do you have going on right now that has been on your list or you've been working on it and you just haven't thrown it out to people. You haven't put it out there yet. Try it. Take a first step. Number two is get more agreements. So finding ways to collaborate with people, the way I think about this is just, you know, when you have relationships and you have buy-in to the mission of what you're trying to do or the the purpose, the why behind the what, if you will, and getting agreements from other people so much more can be done when we do it in teams of people. And so getting buy-in from others and not just trying to trailblaze on your own is the way I see that. And maybe there's a way you could take that and show up with it this week. Finally, we've talked about this on a number of podcasts. Great experts have said, have difficult conversations. So asking tough questions asking to expand on something that did not go well and really diving into feedback points with people, that's what helps us grow. So with that, I hope, you know, one of these things that you can take back, whether it's, hey, how do I do better work to change my life? Do work that is meaningful for me or share before I'm ready, throw it out there, start to just work on it and and get it out in the universe getting more agreements from people and buy-in. And finally, have that difficult conversation this week. Have at it. Happy Monday. We just left the world a little bit better. Now go do something with it.